Hello and welcome to I Am Geek and this is episode 89. We're back again. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time, I'm Ryan. And this is my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin. Hey. You're back Hello. again. Hey guys, how you doing? How you surviving that winter vortex? <laughs> uh, it's more of a winter pin mill around here. What's a, a what's a pin mill? Pinwell. Pinwell. <laughs> Pinwell. <laughs> Pinwell. Pin mill, pin well, you know. Well, same thing. It, it's cold in Memphis. So. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Except it's it'll be warm here. this weekend. It's a little chilly here. I mean, it's it's colder than normal here. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. But you yeah. know, it's no like eyeball freezing. Like no. <laughs> up north. No ice spears. No ice spears. No. Um, you know, I couldn't go outside with hot thin of water and throw it up in the air and it turned into mist, so Oh. No. But yeah, it's crazy. Like in parts of the country, like Chicago, it's colder than it is in Antarctica. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> no thank you. Nope. Wow. Well, I'll just stay in Houston. Anyways, so um it's been a weird day here today. Um of course we've I have kids that uh, make sure stay alive, so that's been fun, as always. But yeah, uh, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. That is weird. Got to keep the kids alive. (laughs) (laughs) Did you move to the hood? (laughs) No, no. Just life with a toddler and just infant. They're just really accident prone. No, it's they're they're not accident prone. They just do stuff that makes you cause like like to break stuff and injure yourself. But anyways, um, so yeah, so or I think it was yeah, it was earlier today. I was watching um, something on YouTube. I don't know if you're familiar with this guy named Shane Dawson, but he's he started making these long form videos on YouTube. Which most of the time on YouTube, you watch a video, it's like at the most twenty minutes long, at the most. Uh, but this one's like a really long form. But he's uh, doing this series on conspiracy theories. Um, and I, I sort of like hearing about conspiracy theories. Every once in a while, when I get a chance to listen to podcasts, I really get don't get to listen to podcasts much anymore with the kids. Just when I'm in the car. Uh, but I listen to a conspired. It's called conspired. Shout out to those guys. Uh, if you like conspiracy stuff, uh, they'll get you covered on their podcast. But so basically, he's doing a conspiracy podcast. And he did or not podcast, video, and he did some stuff on the iPhone about how it's like always listening and always knows, you know, ahead of time um, what you're going to say, and then it will, you know, all this creepy stuff, and it will record all this stuff. So uh, I'm watching that, and he did a bunch of other stuff on this episode, but after I get off with that, um, I pull up an app that I'm going to do something with on the phone. I think it was a game or something. It wasn't like anything, you know, <laughs> important. But <laughs> and it said I needed to update it, so I was like, "Oh, okay." So I went to update it, and the app store is like, when you pull it up, it's it's not there. Like I'll, I'll show you guys. You go to App Store, you press it, and it says um, cannot connect to the App Store, and it's been saying that all day long. You've lost your privilege. I've lost my privilege. So I'm like, okay, I just listened to this thing about Apple and how basically they're always listening and all this bad stuff about them. And then my app store disappears. So I went on Twitter to find out what's going on. And I guess it's happening all over the world. People are going, my app store is gone. Like it's not there. And Apple is not recognizing this. Like the apps, Apple support will like tweet you back and say, let's see if we can figure out this together. And then they just say, you should probably just update your operating <laughs> system. That's the problem. You need a new phone. First they said that, yeah. first they told me, of course, because they responded to me too. And they responded with, have you tried turning it on and off again? I'm like, okay, IT. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's true. It works. So I did that. It did yeah. nothing. It didn't help. And they go, well, now have you tried it's updating true. your operating system? <clears throat> I have not done that yet because I found out um, out of storage on my phone. <laughs> I need to get rid of some pictures and stuff, I guess. Um, Could that be your problem? No, because, I mean, it says I have. Like, it says I have, like, 
you know, a couple gigs left. Yeah, that should be fun. So it shouldn't be like you can't open up the app, the app store. Because earlier today it worked just fine. And then Mm -hmm. this afternoon it just stopped working. So something happened similar to my Xbox the other day. I went to turn it on and it just went black. It wouldn't turn on at all. And I was like, what? What's going on here? And I, I was getting ready to go to work. I was just turning it on, actually, to shut it all the way down. And uh, later on Twitter, I found out that a lot of people were having this problem. And it was something that Xbox had pushed out, a uh, service change that they made to Xbox Live. And it caused people's Xboxes to just to go dark because it, apparently it checks into that first and then it lets you log on to your Xbox. Or, and uh, it seems kind of silly because it's like you should just be able to get onto your Xbox and not have to worry about internet. But it, it caused people for pretty much most of the day, Tuesday, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, to not have access to their ha- Xbox, you know. But um, luckily hmm. mine came up and it's all happy and fine. But I wonder if it's something similar to that where they push something out and it affects some. It's weird that it affects some people and doesn't Pounds affect or, others. Because yeah, yeah, for you, you have, you're have yeah. you on 11, right? iOS 11? Uh, 12, yeah. Oh, you're There's on 12? A, I thought you were on yeah, 11. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm on 12. I'm, I'm just not on the latest. Too. I'm just not on the latest, that's all. Well, maybe it's, yeah, I'm on maybe the I just need to update and see what happens. You might. That's the thing, they oh, want you to update. <laughs> but then when you update, <laughs> what, your what phone version? doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. What what well, phone are you on? Seven. What? Oh, there's your problem. I'm on seven two. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, we're not all yeah, we're rich, not all richy rich, arty guys, <laughs> artsy guys. <laughs> I use stuff until or, it just won't or. work at all anymore. But yeah, when you update the operating system, usually your phone slows down or doesn't hold battery or something. And they've admitted to this that they mess with it. They did, did, but but they made it right Mm -hmm. by giving people cheap new batteries. So, well, Well, that ended in December, but they gave everybody an opportunity. But I missed it. (laughs) Oh well. (laughs) So well, they just want you to buy their newest product. They do. It's just like that's Mm -hmm. why it's why it's you know that's why their symbol is the apple and they're called apple with the bite out of it. It's like going back to the Garden of Eden. They're like, yeah, just take another bite. <laughs> just take another bite. <laughs> I'd rather uh, have my rib back. Yeah, the... <laughs> just learn that you can't, <laughs> live, you can't live without us. <laughs> uh, oh. I think there is something to, to the recording, though. It's I, I was talking to my uh, brother-in-law one time, and we're just sitting around talking about camping and uh, about tents or something. I don't know, you know, and... and um, he, you know, finished the conversation and he looks at his phone at Facebook and he's, he's scrolling. He's like, huh, there's an ad for Walmart for tents at Walmart on my phone. I've never looked up anything on my phone about camping. And it, mm-hmm. it, I mean, we're, so he was talking and he started talking about it. I'd never heard that theory, I guess at that point. And, and, uh, he, he said, yeah, supposedly there, it's got this always on microphone if you have the Facebook app and it'll listen and put these ads you know oh, and uh, so we started testing it it's like oh, i love i love taco bell they have great tacos you know like we're real deliberate about it and trying to say <laughs> stuff and it, i think a few things that we said worked you know but it it was kind of creepy but oh know. it's yeah it's creepy like i'll look up like on my ipad i'll get on amazon and just look like not even signed in and i'll look at stuff like oh you know maybe this looks good or something and then later on, I'll be on my phone, and I'll open up Facebook, and then there'll be an ad for what I was looking at on my iPad. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what? It's crazy. Yeah. This is the world we right. live in, though. It's the world we live in. Yeah. But yeah, so that was an interesting video. He also did a thing about the, basically, remember the face swap app? Yeah. And I guess there's more, um, there's better versions of that now where you could basically just replace anybody's face with anybody's face and do whatever you want to and could be used for illegal matters. Anyways, so that was my freaky day of my phone and it's still not working. So I guess after this, I've got to figure out how I can get the latest operating system on my phone so that I can play a game on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, soon we'll be just like that episode of Futurama where we go to sleep and ads pop up in our dreams. Yeah. We'll get there. 
probably already happens. <laughs> yeah, Facebook supposedly has some kind of uh, facial recognition software that they use that because um, um, you can you can see that they identify faces. I think they do in that. But I was reading something about it. But they uh, supposedly have all this data, and they say they'll never use it for anything. But yeah, right. it's all this data out there that has all these pic- people's pictures and they're and, you know identifying faces with names. And, uh, I mean, your, your Apple does that anyways. Like if you look at your photos app, you'll see here are pictures of some people that, you know, and, uh, it'll show you all the yep. pictures of that person, you know, so it's, it's all out there, you know, and it's just interesting. I don't know what they would do with it. I don't, I'm not a big conspiracy theory person guy, but I mean, that's, that's real stuff. I mean, that there's something they could do with that. Somebody could, if they had, if they got their hands on it, but, um, and, and manipulate voices now to make people sound like other people and have them say things that they didn't say and then they're out there now. That's mm. a thing. Do it yeah. all. Computers, man. <laughs> There's still Crazy stuff man. coming in. I'm looking at Twitter right now. There's still people posting about the App Store, Apple Music, everything being down. Hmm. Hmm. What, are, what are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> It says they're showing the app store is down, over, man. but Apple's support page says it's not down. So there mm-hmm. you go. There you go. Live. Anyways, that's not what we're talking about today. I was just that was the conspiracy corner. Yeah, conspiracy corner with Ryan. <laughs> Ryan's conspiracy corner. <laughs> Next week we'll talk about. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> how the Beatles Can't. never really existed. Or, no, Imperials. next week we'll talk about uh, how Finland is not real. It doesn't exist. The minority did that. I know. That's what we're going to talk about next week. Because uh, I watched a video on the that moon? today. <laughs> so next week uh, okay. we'll talk about that one. You went down a rabbit hole on YouTube. That was on Good Mythical <laughs> Morning. That was their episode <laughs> today about how Finland yep. does not exist. <laughs> and and one of the Kardashians the daughter of O.J. Simpson. Yeah, that one sort of may be true. <laughs> I, can, I can see that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. There's all kinds of conspiracy stuff going on today. Just go to Good Mythical Morning or Shane Dawson or Conspired and you'll find it all. Anyways, okay. So what we're going to talk about today is um, <laughs> there was a, a news article. Well, first off, the three of us have actually done something that um, could explode the internet. It could shut it down. Podcasting has right. changed forever because of something that all three of us actually did. We watched. We can't the- talk about that. On- uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a family <laughs> podcast. <laughs> no, we all three actually saw a movie. The same movie. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's happened one other time before, sort of. Yes. Two of us slept during it, but. Well, well, yeah, we, I mean, we all saw an, uh, Infinity War. I mean, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, we all saw um, the the dreaded movie, <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> 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 the, the, we shall not name. The one, the name. Um, okay, like so we all finally saw them. Aquaman, which was funny though because Chris usually sees the movies, these kind of movies, yeah. before. Us, but we saw it yeah. before Chris, and he finally yep. went to see it. Yes, you did. So, so I've been sick, and I didn't want to cough in the theater. Oh, that's fine. So, <laughs> but I, I went, I went by myself because my wife was still coughing, and she's like, "Just go see it." And I was like, "Okay." So I went by myself and saw Aquaman. Did you film it for? Her? Yeah, I filmed <laughs> it for. <her>. Uh-huh. <laughs> Supposedly, your iPhone does I, that without you knowing. So, I, yeah, I just came home and did a play-by-play. Just acted it out. Just acted. <laughs> yeah, great. What'd you do for the, a, I, the seahorse thing? The cats. Well, I got, <laughs> for my hair, like, I don't have any hair, so oh. I got a, I got a mop and I put that on my head. Nice. Um, and yeah, I got some bug eyes for a black banner. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. Good idea. Yeah. So today we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. We're gonna tell our version, not our version, but our our thoughts on Aquaman with some spoilers. Cause it's been long enough. If, if Chris has seen it finally, then if I've seen it, if Catherine's <laughs> seen it, then and that's so there will be some minor spoilers for that. 
But then that's going to lead us into basically the future of DC uh, Cinematic Universe because there's been a lot of stuff that's also come out this week. Uh, a Birds of Prey teaser trailer. Um, the Batman movie that's going to be made. Uh, Suicide Squad 2. Uh, Batman Beyond Possibility. And something called DC Super Pets. Ugh. <laughs> but um, anyways, I won't be seeing that one. Sorry. Oh, I bet you will. <laughs> no. Oh, you will. I don't see. Grant want to see it. No. No. I, just, little I, don't, little I usually don't watch movies with animals in it. No. Come on. <laughs> uh, but these are all super. They won't die. Uh, so. I know you've watched Free Willy a bunch of times. No. Mm-hmm. no. Your favorite movie? <laughs> no. No. I don't. And I, I know you both. love Life of Pi. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of that one. <laughs> <laughs> And Marley yeah, and me, that's one of the Oh, gosh. Okay, no. So you're going to get me all crying <laughs> and stuff. and <laughs> Cry from the trailer. Old yellow Turner and Hooch. Like there's that dog, what's the dog movie that's coming out about the dog finds his way home or something? <laughs> no, it's constantly down. dying and comes back. Uh, no, the dog that's like gets lost and he's finding his way home. It's some new movie coming out. But basically, in the trailer, they make sure at the end to say, don't worry, he gets home. What just, is home, though? So people oh. don't know. Heaven? No, it's a, no, the only one I know of is. <laughs> I'll look it up. Uh, it's got Dennis Quaid in it. Homeward, Homeward Bound? No, there, it's a new one. Dennis it's coming out. It's, uh, I've it's seen the trailer Dennis so Quaid. It's much. A dog, a dog's way home. Yeah, a dog's I think way that's home. It. Is that the one? <laughs> no, no, that's a no. That's a dog that constantly dies. And gets reincarnated as another dog and no. comes back home. <laughs> yeah, no. that's the story. No, yes, it is. Well, that, well that's not what I'm thinking of. Then oh, I don't want to know this. <laughs> Let's talk about Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm drinking a clearly Canadian. It's back. Some sometimes. You don't remember that? Oh, We've talked clearly about clearly. It, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking a refreshing mountain blackberry. Mm. Mm. Mountain blackberry. Yeah, not those valley blackberries. <laughs> Who drinks those? <laughs> yeah. <Anyways>. Peasants. Peasants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Aquaman. 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 Um, it's made like a billion dollars or something. I don't know. One yeah. billion. Made a bunch One of money. One billion dollars. <laughs> so, first thoughts. What do you guys, uh, overall, what do you guys think? It was great. Um, <laughs> over, yeah, overall, I liked it. Um, I thought it was good. Um, story-wise, it's nothing surprising. It's kind of, I mean, it was kind of predictable what would happen to me, at least. I don't know. But um, I still enjoyed it. Visually, it's just awesome looking. Mm-hmm. Was there any surprises really at all, cool. or are you just like, yeah? No, I mean, yeah, like nothing really surprised me, really. And it's just like, oh, like it's just, I don't know. It just, it had a precise kind of the only story thing that to it. the only thing that um, actually surprised me a little bit. Little spoiler alert here: uh, William Defoe. Well, it's a good, good guy. Good guy. No. <laughs> good guy. Yeah. He didn't turn out to be a bad guy. Usually in the movies, he starts out good, but oh, nope, he's a bad guy. But this one, so he stayed good the whole time. Yeah. Well, I knew his, he, he was a character in the comics. I knew the character, so I knew what well, turn. I didn't know. The, I didn't read Aquaman comic books. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I really, I just kind of cared. But, um, well, I didn't know that. So there I we know. go. And Jason Momoa makes a great Aquaman. Yeah, he does. And I thought it was very uh, interesting and cool how they made the villain of the story basically look like the Aquaman that we grew up with. Oh, yeah. Yep. And then the Aquaman actually himself doesn't look anything like the Aquaman that we grew up with. So I thought that was a good <laughs> good flip. So is that the real the story thing. of Aquaman? Uh give or take yeah okay so he's half yeah, human pretty half. much 
fish or yeah, whatever. he's half human. Half half fish. Fish. Like his mother was. <laughs> his mother was a mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, mermaid. He gets really lonely in those nights in that lighthouse. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, his father was a lighthouse keeper and his mother was queen of Atlantis and she oh. had run away. Um, I think in the comics she does just die. I don't think she's around oh. at all. Um, that you know of. I don't know. That you know of. <laughs> Did you pick up on who the lighthouse keeper was? Uh, he's um, Django Fett. Django Fett. I know. I was oh, like, yeah. he pops yeah. on the screen. Yeah, I'm like, wait a second, that's Django Fett. Yeah, <laughs> I was very excited about yeah. that. I saw it with our buddy uh, Greg Jones. Um, if you're listening, Greg, shout out. Uh, and, we, and I looked at him like, "That's Jango Fett." He's like, "It is." <laughs> so he's yeah. also uh, Moana's father. He's the voice of Moana's father. That's oh, right, yeah. Moana. I didn't know that. <laughs> I just know him as the Fett. The Fett. Django Fett Unchained. That was what I wanted I, to name my my child. Django. Django. Django Greedo. Unchained. Django but, Greedo. Yeah, my wife shot it down. Your wife wouldn't go. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? No. Sorry. You, there's still time. Uh, no, there's, there's, there's not. No, there's it. actually not. Snip, snip. No, there's not. <laughs> no, no, no. Just, you just keep calling your youngest that oh, name, just keep and calling. eventually she'll just. No, she would no, eventually hey, she'll just like, no, think that's her name. My son would be Django Greedo, and then <laughs> my daughter's name was supposed to be Pancake Bacon, but Jennifer didn't go for that either. So yeah, again, <laughs> it's not too late. So just, just call here, him, Pancake. Just, come here. Yeah, just call him Django from now on, Chris. Hey, Who's my little pancake? Who's my little pancake? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I was impressed. Um, the Django Fett was in the movie. Uh, I liked the movie. I mm-hmm. thought there was a lot going on. Yeah. Like a <laughs> lot going on. Uh, it's very world building. A lot to uh, yeah. build up. I'd say so. <laughs> um, I thought it was like right at the line of from a lot going on to too much going on. They were sort of walking that fine line. I thought anyway. Mm-hmm. Do you think, Katrin? Yeah. Uh, it was great. <laughs> No, I did, I did like it. I, it was funny though at the beginning. I was like, "Is this this splash? What am I watching here?" Because she comes out of the water and and uh, doesn't really know how to talk to him or whatever. Because maybe they speak different languages or she can't figure out what's going on, you know. And and uh, it, you know, and then she sleeps on the couch or whatever, and and uh, or whatever happened, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I, th- I thought it was good. I, I think that would be one that I, it would. They had it in 3D somewhere, I'm sure. They didn't have it in 3D at our theater, but I feel like that would be a good one to see in 3D with a lot of the action that was going on in the water. Yeah, I heard it's really but, cool in IMAX, <laughs> but I didn't get to see it in IMAX. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah, it was cool. Um, I didn't know any of the story going in, but I still enjoyed it and I had fun watching it. So We watched it in our new, yeah. newly renovated theater that has the recliners. And uh, my wife's like, you, why are we going to do this? You're just going to fall asleep. And I, <laughs> I said, I'm going to do my best, I promise. And I didn't. I, there were a couple times where I nodded off a little bit, and uh, she punched me in the side. So I, I stayed awake, and uh, everything was fine. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like, Aquaman himself had, had um, a bunch of, I wouldn't call them villains, but. People he had yeah. to deal with. He had the black mana and his Yeah. And then it was had, kinda hard to follow with the, yeah. those things. I was like, okay, so he's gonna come back at some point, but you know, in the movie and he finally does, whatever. But um it kinda cracked me up because I'd never really heard of Black Manta except for in the Injustice game. Yeah. And and then this movie and I was like, he looks <laughs> just like he does in the Injustice game. <laughs> he's the only character yes. that looks like just like he looks, you know, just almost that in the movie, you know, at least. And uh, oh, spot I was so excited to so go good. play the game and go home and play yeah. it. I, I was just, yeah. <laughs> I pull up uh, 
Aquaman. And I was like, he doesn't look like Aquaman. <laughs> and then <laughs> it was just so hard. But, it, but Black Man is pretty cool. Yeah. I, I mean, like yeah. it. I wish, I mean, part there's a, there's a little part of me that wishes that they had just hinted at Black Man all along. Yeah. And then maybe. made the big reveal after the credits and saved him for the next movie. Sure. Yeah. But it was just sort of like, he's oh, here. No. I kind of liked it because it, it gave him it gave him a start for his origin story. Like in, it kind of it was like it's almost a more slow build up for him because like in the comics there's like there's all kinds of stuff that he does to Aquaman that's like horrible. Like he kills their firstborn, he cuts off his Aquaman's hand at one his point. First firstborn? Who did he marry? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh. I, I mean, well, that's the thing. It's like they could have set up for all that if they had a, you know, didn't really see much of him. And to, yeah, you know. like, like I think if they had just taken away the the part where he basically just goes as their bounty hunter, it's like, okay, you know, you go find him, and yeah, if they'd taken that part out and like they'd given him the armor, and then he goes away, and maybe you see him working on it, and then I don't know. It, it was yeah. good. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was way. fine. Yeah, no, there's no, mm-hmm. it's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> they could have done more, I think, is the point. It's like you could have yeah. uh, done another movie, but is there enough for another movie? I don't know. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think there'll be. Well, I mean, yeah. if they had, yeah, yeah, if they had left the Black Manta <laughs> for the next one, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. But uh, Mira, um, she was pretty comic book accurate. Uh, her costume. Uh, and she did uh, Amber Heard, right? Yeah, she did a good job as Mira. Uh, yeah, very cool. She she has like her powers are cool because she has specific. She can control water and everything. She's one of the yeah. few characters that can do that. And uh, I thought they they did a cool uh, the wine scene when she's in that wine cellar. Oh yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that was a really cool scene. Yeah, I thought that was awesome. Um, but yeah, she did a good job in that. Um, so, so the reason so Aquaman can breathe, but those other people that came up had to wear suits. Is that because they're not half human? Or I don't understand. Well, no, it's like it's like the royalty could do that, like the upper um, echelon could could do that, it's, could still do that. Yeah, um, because they're breeding something. I don't know, but the the. A lot of the others couldn't because, that, like, if you that's if you look at there's like s- several different races and they're yeah. all kind of different a little bit, um, ranging from just like the people who can go above and below water to just like the creatures that were just almost like animals. Yeah. That just, uh, but they could go up uh, on land a little bit, but then they have to go back down and stuff. So. Yeah, when they got down it to the was, creatures uh, on the bottom, it sort of reminded me of like Pirates of the Caribbean or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sort of and those are pretty team. accurate too from the comics. Those are cool. Those um, those didn't show up in the comics till just a few years ago, I think. Uh, there you go. So, and they looked really cool. I was really excited to see them. Yeah. So yeah. I, uh, they've made their they've made a ton of money on it, so they're doing something right. I guess, no. uh, but I think this is especially this one now between Wonder Woman and this one, DC is sort of uh, trying to right the ship, trying to uh, yeah turn in a different direction maybe. Yeah, I think their individual movies have have done loads better than they're yeah. like trying to bring everybody together because they're kind of taking their time with it. They're yeah. I think. They pick the directors that are really invested in just that one character, um, and it's uh, relatively new characters for people. I mean, I understand Wonder, Wonder yeah. Woman has been around forever, right? Everybody knows Wonder, Woman. but not not every, not every generation. Like we remember a little bit, but there's this whole generation mm-hmm. that really never saw that because it's not on Syndicate or anything. You know, it's not playing. But um, and then Aquaman. I'm, yeah, he was in some cartoons, but still, just never really focused. But we've seen so many Batman and so many Superman movies <laughs> that you're just like, yeah. everybody has their favorite. So it's hard to really watch the new characters because you're like, ah, that's it's not the same as 
Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's not the same as Val mean. Kilmer. Right. George Clooney. I mean. yeah, that's the first time that I think I've ever heard anybody say that about the Batman movie. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, no, I know what you're saying. Uh, I, I think it's uh, valid, and uh, that's probably why those are more successful right now. So, I mean, who's next? So there is a, there's a, there's a Flash movie right. coming out, right? Yeah. Well, uh, Shazam is next. It's the same yeah, movie. that's uh, yeah, it's gonna be but good. But they said I think. that, that this one, the, 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 one of the reasons why this one did so good is because it wasn't in that same universe, but it is in the same universe. I don't. It is. They just because they, they, they even mentioned stuff in it, it right? Yeah. They even mentioned like, oh yeah, yeah they, you yeah. did this and you did that. That happened in the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, it's just they they didn't try to like directly tied into yeah, everything yeah, that yeah. happened just they just kind of mentioned it but i mean which it's was still good, in the same universe just like we you know the ant-man movie it was it's sort of it's separate movie but it was still in the marvel universe so yeah. this one was still in the dc universe but i get what they're saying and that's one of the reasons why why some of these announcements that we're going to be saying here in a minute um you know match up to that that yeah they're going away from the Justice League universe, if you want to call it that. Uh, which who knows if they'll come back to or not. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah, Shazam, Shazam, this is the next week. What? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say maybe they'll do Super Friends instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One can only hope because then you know who we get? <laughs> we the get one. The Wonder Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so that'll so, have a animal in it. So can you watch that? It has an animal. It's got they've got their monkey. Can you watch that? Well, he's a purple monkey, so he's not, not a uh, monkey. He's purple. Okay. Hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, he'll be he'll be all um, like CGI, or maybe he'll just be like two D animation. Two D. Two D. Oh, two yeah. D. Yeah. Stop motion. Oh, even better. Stop motion. Just a puppet. Yeah. Oh, a puppet. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, so Shazam is the next movie coming out, which comes out sometime. I forget Soon. when. Soon. It's this year, I believe. Yeah, this year. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. What and... were all the previews during uh, that movie? There was Shazam, and uh, of course the um, Avengers movie was one of the previews um seemed like there was something else but i guess maybe the unbreakable was one i don't remember well it probably wasn't unbreakable oh no i guess it wasn't glass. Glass. you know what i mean glass, no, it wasn't maybe? glass no yeah i know well you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember but uh, yeah i don't remember yeah i don't remember either oh well so yeah it looks Ooh. like they're going away from what they tried to do the marvel is basically solidified as in Doing having it. this, you yeah. know, own universe, um, and they're going away from that. Um, I'm sure Shazam probably won't even mention any of the other stuff. <laughs> well, like, well, in the previews in Shazam, yeah. you see like um, Batman toys and Superman oh, stuff yeah, but and they probably, like, news stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still well, they're yeah. still out there, whether it's that universe or whatever. It's still those heroes exist in that. Yeah, yeah world. They, they exist, but I don't think they're going to be like, okay, uh, let's yeah. get Affleck and everybody back together again mm-hmm. for another. There's movie. still rumor that Henry Cavill could show up in Shazam at some point. But yeah, probably see, not. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe, maybe that's why they don't do it. But it, like what you said about the Avengers, they've kind of solidified that. They do it so well. That when you go and try to not really copy it, but do something similar, that it it doesn't. If you don't oh. do it better, well, they you know, tried to copy it. Fail. They oh, tried I, to copy it and they failed big time. Right. So maybe that's <laughs> they should give up and just do the. the yeah, I think so. Because the, the, they were fine the, without doing that, you know. Yeah. yeah, that seems to be their thing going forward. They're they're doing individual movies and they're not necessarily making them interconnecting because. Um, yeah. They're doing like the, the Joker movie with um, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. Um, that is like totally different from everything yeah. else they're doing. It's fine. Um, it's fine. 
Yep. <laughs> totally Which leads fine. to uh, basically, uh, there was two things that came out this week: Birds of Prey tre- teaser trailer. If you don't know what Birds of Prey are, then Chris is going to tell you. <laughs> Sit back. <laughs> Sit back and relax and, for Chris's comic and comic corner. The, yeah, that's not even the complete title of that. Let me let me find the complete title. Oh yeah, it's title. a big long it's title. Not just, yeah, it's not just Birds of Prey. It's the it's a long one. Curious case remember, so of of uh, <laughs> <laughs> Benjamin Button. No, I just oh, forgot her name. Um, wow, I mean, it's been a long day. <laughs> What's her name? Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Yeah, the curious case of Harley Quinn and her Birds of Prey compadres. It's, it's the Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one <laughs> Harley Quinn. <laughs> Rolls right off the tongue. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like just, a ticket uh, for the, uh, you know, the, the you long know, sentence. You know, the Birds movie. <laughs> <laughs> the Birds movie. <laughs> the Alfred Hitchcock movie? Yeah, what? <laughs> All right, so there's a teaser so, trailer yeah, the, with yeah, lots of the flashes comics, of birds people. Of prey. Yeah, so, Okay. And the and the comics, Birds of Prey, are a group of uh, superheroines, um, typically led by uh, uh, Barbara Gordon, Batgirl. Um, she she actually started it when she was Oracle, I believe, is when is she was like um, lost the use of her legs because of the Joker. Um, so she came more of like a techie person and like handled everything, connecting people over like computers and stuff and coordinating attacks and things like that um it was her uh black canary uh huntress i believe um and then there's been some others throughout um but in this one they're changing it up a bit of course uh because they're apparently still trying to do a bat girl movie so they've cut her out of it uh supposedly um but it's just it's the Harley Quinn's getting away from the Joker and she's doing her own thing. And in the movie, there's black Canary, the Huntress, um, and orphan. who was a character in the comics. who was like a trained assassin, but she wasn't taught how to speak. So she didn't speak. She was just taught, taught how to read physical reactions from people and use that and fight basically. Um, and she eventually in the comics becomes Batgirl at one point. Uh, but her more common pseudonym, whatever, is the orphan. Um, and, yeah, she's a young child in this, it looks like. And there may be something about protecting her or something. Uh, they're trying to protect her. Um, Ewan McGregor is going to be the villain. Black Mask. Who, <laughs> like, we saw him briefly in the trailer. Uh, without his mask, it, just, it was just Ewan McGregor looking all stylish. Um, as he does yeah. as he does yeah in the comics he has a black mask shaped like a skull that he carved from the casket of his dead parents which Yay. is you know yeah delightful oh um, Victor Zaz <laughs> Victor Zaz is going to be in this movie yeah Sweet. Victor Zaz is going to be in it um in some capacity you see him briefly in the trailer um He's got hair, which you don't usually see him with hair. He's on Gotham. He's a character on Gotham. Yeah, he's one of my but favorite he's a characters serial... on Gotham. <laughs> yeah. I love him. <laughs> he's fun. He's, he's a serial killer. Well, I mean, what he does isn't fun. He's well, a serial killer know. who, after he kills a victim, he makes a mark. Like, he slices his skin with a knife and makes a mark. So, like, in the trailer, you don't you see him. He's got a shirt on everything. You see maybe a few scars on his head. But so you don't know, like, if he's reached that point where he's killed a bunch of people because if he has his shirt off, maybe he's got a bunch of marks all over him. You don't know. Don't know. Uh, so he'll be another villain for them to face off against. Ooh, Rosie Perez is in this movie. She's making a comeback. Oh, yeah. She's in it. <laughs> she is Renee Montoya, which, just like Carly Quinn, she was created for the Batman animated series and then transitioned into the comics. Oh. Um, and in the comics, she eventually becomes kind of like a superhero type character called the question, which the question is a whole other character in the comics. And she kind of trains under him a little bit and takes on the persona. 
where he he's the character usually wears like a suit, but he doesn't have a face. He he has something over his face, so you don't. He just looks blank. He's a question. He's a he's a conspiracy theorist mm-hmm. in the comics. It's uh he's all about the conspiracy theories. We got them all tonight. <laughs> and then of course Isabel Pakzad is playing friend. Friend. Oh, yeah, of course. That. Ali Wong's in it. I don't know if you know who that is, but she's pretty funny. Uh, but it doesn't say who she's playing, so I'm wondering who she's going to play. Um, Ali Wong is... Uh, I'm, I'm looking it up just to make sure that I don't... She is on... Uh, if you watch American Housewife on ABC, it's a sitcom. She plays one of the best friends of the main character, and she's like hilarious on the show. Anyways. Oh, uh, okay. I've seen her. Yeah, she's funny. Uh, <laughs> so she's playing somebody in the movie, but it doesn't say who she's playing. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. But I'm interested. And of course, in there's it. hopes. That, yeah, there's hopes that maybe like Poison Ivy or Catwoman may show up or something like that. Because that was another movie they were thinking about doing with Harley Quinn was um, Gotham City Sirens, which is like Catwoman and Poison Ivy and hmm. Harley Quinn. And uh, so Harley Quinn's just going to be in every movie. Probably. Yeah. Wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in Gotham, the lightest season of Gotham. I'm not really a fan of that version of her. Yeah, there's there's like hints of her character in that character, but it's not quite there. Yeah. But with Gotham. It always they always start out like really off from what they end up being. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, there's watch, still gotta, some hope. Yeah. You got to watch that <laughs> show, people. It's so good. Last episode was great. Yeah. It's been I haven't watched good. this week's yet. I haven't watched this week's yet. Anyway, yeah, came on. Uh, so there was the Bird of Prey uh, teaser trailer, which basically just showed pieces of people. It didn't really show. Yeah, like, it was like a. It's like a camera test, almost like a costume test. Yeah. Where they just kind of film little snippets that had some yeah. mm, 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 music going on. The system <laughs> is down. The system. Boots is and down. pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I'm a star runner there for you. Yeah. <laughs> the best. <laughs> um, and then there was an announcement of the new Batman movie, which is right now titled. The Batman or the Batman? Oh, the Batman. Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one um, because I'm excited for one announcement that somebody else is playing Batman. <laughs> 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 that is true. Ben Affleck is out. They're going with a yeah, going with a younger Batman for this. Yeah. Um, Possibly the same universe. Who knows? As the other stuff it just takes place in the past. Who knows? Um, this is, but I like that um, they're going with uh, more of a film noir uh, detective story with this one because you don't. Uh, we haven't really seen that much with Batman. He's supposed to be like the world curious detective. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get more of that, and I like that. So it's supposed to come out what year? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Hmm. It's still a ways off, which so, is the same as um, some other. Like everything they announced is going to be 2021. Yeah, Suicide <laughs> Squad 2, 2021. But yeah. back to. Um, I thought we played a little fun game. Not really a game. <laughs> 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 Who's Batman now? But I thought we'd give our uh, thoughts on who should play the new Batman. So we're thinking he's going to be in his 20s. The person that I wanted Probably. to play Batman, I think he's too old for it. Um, which I'm, which we may have thought of the same person. We may have know. thought of the same person. Okay, let's say it together on three. Right. Ready, Catherine? <laughs> you don't have to say it because because <laughs> I'm not on the same have. brave you, yeah, brain but, wavelength as you brothers. Yeah, we're brothers. You can count it down if you yeah. want to. Twins, even. Three, two, one. Jensen Ackles. Jensen Ackles. <laughs> 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 exactly. Yeah. A little delay there. Jensen but, Ackles. Yeah, I was say, that was, 
I should have said it too. <laughs> <laughs> I could have, because Chris waited until after I said it. Oh, I didn't think I did. I thought I mean, maybe we're, maybe there was a hiccup in the there was a sound. But yes, Jensen Ackles. <laughs> that's who I want to play Bruce Wayne. Uh, but yes. I think he's too old, probably, for what they're doing. Maybe. Yeah, he's in his. He's like forty now, I think. Uh, he, I mean, he still looks kind of youngish. He doesn't look yeah. really old, old or anything. But yeah, I think he could really pull it off. Um, the he played. Um, Jason Todd in an animated movie, which is like the second Robin who the Joker killed and he came back as the Red Hood. And he did an awesome job with that. He's like a fan favorite for that. Everybody wants him to play like something in the Batman universe, uh, whether it's on TV or a movie or something. Uh, he was apparently up for a role as Batman or something at some point. Um, but he didn't get it. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. I think he could do a good job. I think he could play both the kind of smarmy, kind of Bruce Wayne type thing. Oh, he could totally do that. Amongst, and then like go kind of dark. I think I think oh, he yeah. could do both. He does both on Supernatural yeah. perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Which got renewed for another season. Wow! Really? Uh, ah, good for <laughs> it. Good, good job. Yeah. That got renewed. All the all the superhero CW shows got renewed. So. I love Supernatural. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Jensen Ackles aside, the person who should be Batman, a young you know, <laughs> put him aside. Uh, I looked up a list of sort of the hot you know thirty five and under actors, like I usually do, you know, <laughs> on a Thursday <laughs> night. Every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. And you guys looked up something similar, I think, probably. Um, mm-hmm. What names did you guys, what popped out at you for for a young uh, Batman or Bruce Wayne? Because I wonder how, how like, what uh, part of the career he's going to, uh, they're going to focus on. Like, is it going to be like he's figuring out how to be Batman or is it going to be, he's been doing it for a few years. In the comics, it was like his he became Batman in like when he was twenty or early twenties okay. at least. Um, I mean, before that, he was he was like training and doing stuff, but I, I don't think it it happened until like he was early twenties when he first became Batman. So, I mean, it could be early in his career. They 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 said it was going to have a rogues gallery, so not just one villain. There would be multiple villains, which is cool. I think they could do that with Batman and do it right. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, Catherine. Who who would you pick? I don't. I don't know. I can't decide. I'm not. I don't know a lot of actors' names. Uh, so I was looking at lists as well. And it, what's funny that the name that keeps coming up um, on two different lists I've looked at looked at as, as far as like top actors under thirty, and uh, in both lists was Michael Sarah. No. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, uh, um, I'm a um, uh, Batman. <laughs> um, I, uh, now he's already Robin. Now he be Batman. Uh, so <laughs> he would, he would be Batman, but underneath his Batman yeah, outfit, he would he would have Robin and Robin's outfit underneath the Batman uh, outfit. Okay. Yeah, he's he's Robin in the Lego movies. <laughs> yeah, and it, he's been in a comic book movie, right? The um, Scott Pilgrim, and that like based on a comic book yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, yep. Graphic Love novels. that movie. Man, uh, good movie. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Chris, uh, Chris Hemsworth is keeps coming up Chris too, but I, I don't Liam. know. Liam. Oh, sorry, Liam. sorry. I'm thinking. Yeah, Liam. Could be an interesting choice. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know. What about? Uh, a guy named Jack Quaid. You ever heard of Jack Quaid? Is he related to Disney, Dennis Quaid? Uh, I have no idea. He was in um, <laughs> he was in Hunger Games. He was in um, Logan Lucky. He was in Rampage. He was in Smallfoot. Kind of goofy looking. I don't know. Um, he's done some video game stuff. He was in the Middle Earth. Mm. Uh, he'd have to bulk up a little bit. But... Yeah. Mm-hmm. This guy right here. I can't see, but 
Yeah, I've got him up. Yeah, on. yeah, I don't know. He looks yeah, too kind of goofy. goofy. Yeah, um, they won't at least in they, that picture. And they, and truly, they <laughs> won't try to put the rock into this role or anything like that. Try to no <laughs> make that work. <laughs> Can you smell what the Batman <laughs> is cooking? Um, <laughs> One person, because I looked up a list too, because I don't know actors and yeah, how old they are or anything. Um, and one kind of stood out to me a little bit, but he's already played two different superheroes now. So I don't know if uh, it would be a good thing for him to do a third. But um, Aaron Taylor Johnson, uh, he played Quicksilver in yeah. Avengers, yeah. and he was also in the Kick Butt movie. Uh, PG friendly. <laughs> He's in that kick, kick movie. Everybody's yeah, favorite. Movie. This is a PG movie. Um, and I think he could do it. Um, I think he's got the build for it. Um, um, I think he's got the acting chops. It's just I don't. He's already played two other heroes, and so to do a third, I don't know if it'd be good for him to jump over to a third one. Um. I thought of Zac Efron at one point. <laughs> that came up as well. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I think he's too short. I think he's yeah. too short. I'm soaring uh, I... through Gotham. <laughs> he's already got the song. <laughs> well, there I mean, you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> too short. I mean, if if I had to throw him into a superhero role, oh. I would almost put him as Wolverine. Um, what? What? But... Okay, hold on. You would put, <laughs> you would put Zac Efron as Wolverine. Yeah. No. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I, he's got the build for it. I mean, this I, is the greatest like, show. Well, I think I I think he's got some acting chops. I, I just think he's got um, that smile. That there's no way he can play Wolverine with that smile. That he can't. He's just always got that I, smile. Uh, Hugh Jackman's got a nice smile too. So I don't know. He could turn it off. I've never <laughs> seen Zac Efron turn it off. Uh, we'll see. Um, Daniel Ratcliffe. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's too. No, too, too, too. I just don't think. I just don't think. I mean, not that he couldn't do it. I just don't. Uh, he's he's too. He's Harry Potter. Like I don't think I, I could watch I, It's hard him. to watch him in other movies, and, right? The yeah, but, especially in a role like that. Um, yeah. no, there's I, always Army Hammer. I mean, he's older, Ar- but uh, Hammer. Army a, Hammer. Detergent? Well, he was he was supposed to be Batman, and that um, Justice League movie got canceled. Yeah. Well, um, I mean, yeah. So for an older Batman, yeah, sure. Yeah. Jo- you know, he, uh, could, he could come back as you know from because he was he was in uh, Nolan's movies. He could just bring in Jordan or Jordan Joseph Gordon Levitt, bulk him up. That's true. Could do that. Um, they could they could uh, put a facial mask on him so he looks like a younger Ben Affleck like they did with him and Bruce Willis. Um, no, um, <laughs> there's uh, Kit Harrington from Game of Thrones, Jon Snow. He? Uh, hmm. He's younger than us, I think. Killer must be poor. Not that old. Uh, <laughs> but Ty Sheridan, um, the guy from uh, Trading Trading Places or Trading Spaces? <laughs> no, <laughs> this uh, this is a guy from uh, um, Ready Player One, and oh. he's also an X Men Apocalypse. T Y E Ty Sheridan. He was Mud. Oh. Uh, or what? He's one of Variety's ten actors to watch. There you go. There yeah. you go. They might be, it'd yeah. be a good, he would know. be a good young somebody. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about Kit Harrington. I think he could pull off Batman, but I don't know if he could pull off Bruce Wayne. See, that's the thing. You got to find someone who can do both. Yeah. Um, because they're they're really separate characters. Yeah. That's why I love. Uh, Batman animated series so much because that's when they really separated Bruce Wayne from Batman. Like the voice actor Kevin Conroy did, does like just a spot on job with that. Um, he's so good at uh, differentiating both. Uh, so that, I think that's what you got to do. You got to find someone guy? that can do that, which who's Jensen this? Ackles can do. Yes, he can. Who's, who's I've never heard of this guy, but he's sort of got the look. Who's Nolan Gerard Funk? 
Oh, fuck. You know the funk. Yeah, a few movies. I don't know who he is, though. Canadian actor started out as a national gymnast and diver. Oh. No, yeah. Canadian? Oh. I mean, he's sort of the... <laughs> he's clearly he's... Canadian. <laughs> I mean, just look at him. He was on Glee. Yeah. He was on Glee. Um, He's got a Christian Bale kind of look to him. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. He does, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyways, so there you go. We got our picks. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Sarah. <laughs> hey, uh, um, uh, hey, um, uh, Batman. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so if Michael Sarah was Batman, who would be Alfred? <laughs> uh, There's only one answer to this. Uh oh. We'll see if either one of you can get it. I'll give you a clue. He always, that broke? He, he's a he's a never nude. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't think of his name. Uh, Blue Man Group guy from Arrested uh. Development. Um, oh, why did I forget the actor's name? Hold on, I'll tell you. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> David uh, Cross. <laughs> David Cross. Yes, David Cross. <laughs> Can you imagine that duo as Batman and Alfred? Oh. <laughs> I may, maybe David Cross should be uh, Robin, though. I don't know. Get Jeffrey Tambor is Alfred. Maybe they should just take the cast of Arrested Development and put them in the new Batman movie. It's like Batman. Oh, Henry Winkler. He could be a good Alfred. <laughs> That's uh, true. Fonz? Yeah, the Fonz. Ben Stiller uh, was on Portia. Arrested Development, so he could be the Riddler. <laughs> yeah. Portia to... I don't know how you say her last name. Um, Rose Rossi. She could either be you know Catwoman or... Or Poison Ivy. Uh, Jason yeah. Bateman is a joker. Uh, <laughs> Tony Hale. Um, Tony Hale. Who would Tony Hale be? Two Face, maybe? Yes. <laughs> Two Face. We're turning this into a comedy. Uh, oh, uh, Mae Whitman. She she would be a good Catwoman. She could be Catwoman. <laughs> Uh, Liza Minnelli, she could be Harley Quinn. What about what about the Riddler? Oh, uh, the Riddler, Ben Stiller, because he was ben in a Stiller. few episodes. Oh yeah, yeah. What about uh, you know who Freddie Highmore or is? Will Will Arnett could be the Riddler? Yeah. <laughs> so you ever watch the Good Doctor? Oh, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. So that's his, yeah, his name is Bates Freddie Hotel. Highmore. He could he could be the Riddler. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but he's he's not in Arrested Development. That's oh no, no. maybe Will Arnett. Is that your point? Be, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't following. Yeah, you. that's that's our point. Jeez, just take we're, that out. We were taking too. the cast of Arrested Development and putting them in the Batman. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. Will, <laughs> Will Arnett could be uh, could be Killer Croc. Killer what? Croc. <laughs> All with a voiceover that. of Ron Howard. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile in Gotham. Anyway, so there we go. I guess could, that was wrong. Yeah, Ron Howard could be uh, Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, that's he true. Could. He could be. And then <laughs> Jeffrey Tambor, is, did we say who he's going to be? Probably the Penguin. Mm-mm. He would be the Penguin. Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he'd be the Penguin. I want to see this movie now. <laughs> I do too. Hollywood, make this movie. Take the cast of the rest of the development. Make a Batman movie. <laughs> but don't go with the obvious yeah, choice of putting Will Arnett as Batman. No, no, you can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I think it would have to be a musical, too. Or something. Probably so. Yeah. Or at least have one mus- musical number. Yeah. To, probably. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so all of this stuff is happening. Um, 
it's not where we thought the DC cinematic universe was going. It's sort of they tried to go the way of Marvel, but it's just all splitting off. Well, we didn't even mention Wonder Woman 1984, which will be coming out um, sometime soon, right? This summer. Summer. Maybe. Uh, this year, I think. Um, then, yeah, there was rumors of uh, them making a Batman Beyond movie. Yeah. Uh, which would be awesome. And they need to get Michael Keaton as the older Batman. That's oh. the only thing they can do. They need to Man. do that. Um but there, it looks like, because there's like pictures that have leaked online, uh, like taken from someone's computer that may be like um, kind of story art or whatever, or concept art. Um, and supposedly it may be an animated movie, kind of like Spider-Man. Like yeah. they're trying to mm. do their own Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse type of thing. Of course they are. With, yeah. yeah you know. That's in stereo. Um, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I'd love a uh, Batman Beyond movie. I think yeah. it'd be awesome. Yes, but only if they get Michael Keaton. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, and they need it, to get Will Friedel as some character. If it's an animated <laughs> Batman Beyond, then I mean, yes, it'd be cool to have Michael Keaton. But I mean, they could do cool. other people. But it'd be cool, I think, cooler yeah, if it was like it, a live. It's just the perfect choice. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I I I want yeah. That's what I want. I want a live action movie from it because we've already had an animated movie from it. Um, yeah, it's straight to video, but it was still an animated movie, and it was it's one of the best superhero like movies out there. I think is Batman Beyond: Return of the Joker. Um, it's, just, it's it's so good. I recommend watching that. Um, is that is that for the stream streaming corner or what you streaming? What you streaming? Watch a streaming. Yeah, sure. That could be watch a streaming. Batman Beyond or Return of the Joker. There you go. It's uh, pick there of the is week. a rated version. There's a rated version and an unrated version. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the difference? <laughs> the unrated version, like the violence, like picks up. Like it's, yeah. uh, it's really crazy. I don't want to give anything away. Um, hmm. But there's some some scenes that are really violent in it. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's good. It's done well. It's done really well. That's cool. Look Definitely that up. I don't know where you can find it, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Sure. Oh yeah. You can, you can find them probably iTunes. You can rent it somewhere. Yeah. Catron. <laughs> what's your stream? What's your streaming? Oh. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> I I didn't know this was a weekly thing. Oh, I guess the fans, the fans are demanding it. They're uh, patiently <laughs> waiting our our picks for the week. I did watch a little bit of that Nintendo Quest um, movie. I fell asleep <laughs> watching it, but um, I, it was interesting. And one of it was funny because one of the games that they said was a um, hard to find game. That's a rare game in their list of ones that were rare. Uh, not there were two that were top that were rare. I forgot what they were, but there were some a bigger list of rare ones. I had one of those games, uh, oh. Dusty Diamonds All Star Softball, and oh. I loved that game. It was so fun because you could pick these. They had this list of characters, and you could uh, they all were kind of quirky in their own way, and you could p- make your team and play softball, and and it you know you're like on a playground, and it, it was man that game was so much fun. Um. So that that doesn't answer what your question, but no, that's uh, fine. But I answered about what I said last week. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was thinking there was a movie they just added to. Uh, they just added a bunch of a few movies. They added Incredibles two. They added. Um, Did they really? Yeah, Incredibles two is now on Netflix. Well, that's probably what really? I'll be streaming this week. It, it was, was on there today, or it could have been a glitch. But I was scrolling through, and I was like, "Hey, it's Incredibles two. So. It's on Netflix. Really? And That's and quick. uh Transylvania yeah, that's real um quick. not Transylvania. What's it called? The Transylvania yeah. movies? Um yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Hotel Transylvania three yeah. is now on there, which I wanted to watch that one. Uh, and my son was like, Nope, too scary. I'm like, Really, come on. <laughs> so Yeah, Chris Russell is on there. 
I was wrestling with my son tonight, and I made this really scary face and voice, and he <laughs> scared the snot out of him. And, and I was like, "Come on, man!" But he was like, "Don't do that face! Don't do that! It's scary!" I'm like, it's just me. What, what's the deal? It's so funny what kids get scared of, and what what uh what excites them or what scares them, you know? Yeah, what they gravitate towards. But yeah. Things you think they would love, they don't. Yeah, but things you think are just the weirdest things ever, they love. You know? Yeah, it's <laughs> funny. Wow, that is on there. Incredibles 2 is already on there. That's, that's weird. That's probably what I'll be streaming. Yeah, I'm going to watch it again. I watched it in the theater. Um, so I'm going to give it another watch. I was kind of disappointed in Incredibles 2 oh, myself. I, it's okay. I didn't see it in the theater. If you've like seen it. the first one, if you've seen the first one, you've seen the second one. I've, <laughs> I've actually seen the first one a bunch lately because uh, Charlie, my son, gets on these kicks where he watches a movie over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. Uh, either when we're in the car, mostly when we're in the car, because it, it'll, it, if we're on a long trip, he'll, he'll just watch whatever's in and we're like, you want to change it? And he's like, no, let's watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> My son does the same thing. <sighs> oh, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp is on there. Yes, yes that was it. That, that was, was yeah, that's, I'm really excited to see that because I didn't see that one either. Um, so that's, that's probably, fun. I'll be streaming some uh, superhero type movies. Yeah. The Jack Jack scenes in Incredibles Two are hilarious. Yeah, that was good. That's yeah, those were good. Um, and Ant Man and the Wasp is. I thought it was funny. It was good. Oh, yeah. it's great. I love that one. Yeah, I want to see Hotel Transylvania Three. I've heard it's not that good, but I still want to watch it. Is that what you're streaming? I may. I'll tell you what. I'm not streaming <laughs> that. We tried to watch Bird Box. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> There's kids in that one. Oh. <laughs> I watched the trailer of that one. I was like, nah. nah. Sorry, I think we talked about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I we for many years, and it's been many years. I don't know how many seasons it's been now. We watched Walking Dead. Yeah. For many years. This last last season, we watched it and we were bored half to death. So we. Did, we just hadn't got around to watching this season. And it was on demand, so we're like, well, let's try it out. And we watched the first episode. And by the end of the first episode, we said, oh, yeah. That's why we stopped watching. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, it, dra- it dragged and it was very depressing. Like, very depressing. And uh, so I don't know if we'll watch it, so I don't really recommend it. Um, if you have kids, if you have... Um, Infant age or toddler age, I'll tell you what I've been streaming for the past two days nonstop. Um, <laughs> the Mother Mother Goose Club. Uh, <laughs> so check no. that out on Netflix. Mother Goose Club. It's actually pretty fun. It for I mean, it's just like them doing songs and dances, and the kids really get into it, and they'll dance along and they'll sing it. So it's fun for them. So I could put that on, and then I could do something else. And they'll just dance through it all. Uh, so it, it's cute. So my streaming pick of the week is Mother Goose Club. If you have toddlers <laughs> or infants for your sanity, let them watch that. So you can do something else. <laughs> let me tell you another one my son loves right now that he, he watches a lot of. is um, the old Magic School Bus episodes. Oh. Like There's a new, new series on that um, is good as well, but he loves watching the old ones. And uh, every morning he'll turn one on and watch it. So. Yeah, my son likes Octonauts. Yep. So, I like the Octonauts. I can sing the song for you right now if you want me to sing Creature it. Reports. Creature, Creature report. Report. Creature Report. Creature Report. <laughs> uh, we're done with the mission. <laughs> Octonauts at ease until the next adventure. <laughs> Chris, wow. see what you're missing out on. <laughs> you can yeah. watch it if you want. Yeah, you to. can watch it if you want to. I, I could. I mean, maybe it's a my good cats cartoon. Like it. I don't know. It's a it's a fun cartoon. It's a fun. <laughs> yeah. You get to explore the deep blue sea, the oceans. Uh, think, Some of those are I'll really weird. The last season I think of Gumba. Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> The weirdest thing about that show, and then we can end because we're already out of time, <laughs> is they have these little creatures that are with them. Like it's like a cat and like a d- different animals are are these undersea explorers, and then they have these little half vegetable, half animal vegetables. I think is what they call them. The, the vegetables. Yeah, 
I, I don't. That was just weird. <laughs> like, who came up with that? What were they smoking? Right. They're like, let's have all these cool <laughs> animals looking at sea cre- sea life, and then let's just throw in these half vegetable weird creatures. I don't know. That makes so, sense to me. They have some pretty cool toys for octonauts, but I still say that toys these days are just not as good as they used to be. Like they make these that don't really move and they just kind of sit there and um, like these, the figurines for kids, you know, they're, it, they're just figurines. Like we have some um, miles of, from Tomorrowland and they, they look really cool, but they don't move or anything. And yeah. it's like, what are you supposed to do with these? You know, we got them from the Disney store. Just admire that was a stupid purchase <laughs> but <laughs> that but um I, I remember one thing I, I thought of when i left aquaman to come back full circle here full aquaman. circle i i Ooh. said this movie if they could really make some cool toys for this movie if that oh, was yeah. still like a big thing to make cool movie toys you know like when we were growing up but you know they probably won't but there was a lot of no, cool things they did that not would be neat. <laughs> yeah they made some toys um, you can get like oh, the characters sure. writing their sea creatures. Yeah, uh, yeah. They don't make toys like uh, If you want a William Defoe toy, you can get a William <laughs> Defoe toy. I already have. If one. you've Buggy been missing eyes. your Green Goblin, I have my yeah. Green Goblin. If you've been missing somewhere. your Green Goblin toys, yeah, then get another William Defoe. I got them around here somewhere. Uh, anyways, yeah. So <laughs> DC Universe, who knows what's going to happen to it. Uh, I think they should keep going in their separate directions and not and not bring people together. Um, I think that will work out for them. <laughs> there you go. But there you go. You've heard it here first. Like, not really, but... <laughs> so, tell us what you're streaming <laughs> on it's social hashtag, media. What you're streaming. What you're streaming. Hashtag, what you're streaming at I Am Geek Show. I, I want to look at what you're streaming up, and I'm afraid what I'm going to find. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to look and, at it. Uh, tell us, tell us who you think uh, should be the next Batman. Yeah, tell us who you think should be the next Batman. And Apple, if you're listening right now, which you are. Oh, they are. Please give me my app, app store back. Just give me my app store back. I just want to update my <laughs> Disney Magic Kingdoms game so I can build the Magic Kingdom in my phone. That's all I want. That's all I want. Anyways. This has been episode 89 of I Am Geek. Thanks for joining us. And remember, the geekies are coming soon. So be on the lookout yes. on your social media on on uh, Twitter at I Am Geek Show. Facebook, I Am Group. Check that out. Or I Am Geek on Facebook. Um, they, the geekies are coming. So get ready to vote because the Oscars are the 24th of February. So this will be coming out sometime around the same time probably. Anyways, <laughs> anyways, until next time, I'm Ryan. I'm Katrin. And I'm Chris. That's the first time we've ever done that. <laughs> this has been <laughs> I Am Geek. We'll talk with you next week. Polar vo- vortex coming through Dallas. What? It is? What? No, I don't think so. No, it's not Dallas. Like it's been a little yeah. cold down here, yeah. but nowhere near ice ball or ice ball. Should we just start so over? <laughs> I'm starting no, over. No, why? No, we're good. <laughs> Have it as a blooper. Yeah, that's gonna be a blooper. <laughs>